Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsusti, and welcome back to Factorio, where we are building up our production in these rail squares. At least for now, they are rail squares uh, this size. It's sufficient. We will see if we can fit everything in uh, in this size. And for today, I tasted last time, we will do something that we already did, and that's science production. So, once again, uh, we will start with the red science, and then maybe progress to the green science, um, the other two science. It's probably a project too far out for this episode but it is coming so if we look where we can place it uh, I extended the rail network a bit uh, connected a few of, uh, of the squares here so we do have uh, one relatively empty square down here a few trees uh, then one up here, up here, and we have few more, but they are pretty forested, so not sure uh, where to focus after that. Uh, we could complete this one, which looks pretty promising from a deforested uh, point of view. But I had a look at uh, what it takes uh, for the red science and here I went basically with, uh, with setup uh, tailored uh, to the uh, smelting facilities uh, because we can only get out a yellow band and uh, I'm thinking a yellow a yellow belt that's uh, that's 15 um, 15 uh, uh, items per second so that's okay so in theory we can have 20 uh, electric furnaces uh, on on one belt that should gave us almost a full yellow belt um, and we need half the amount uh, for for copper and that leaves us with with 40 assembly machines for the uh, actual red science production and then so basically what we need here is two delivery stations for the two ores one pickup station for the uh, science pack and there we probably should see that we can stack one train in addition so if one train goes off towards the science lab uh, we can already load the, the next one and I think two trains will be sufficient because as we can see here, the ideal situation is if the train sits at the unloading station because everything here is backed up and uh, basically there are more trains uh, waiting um, for, uh, for, uh, for delivering more materials. But looking at this, uh, we basically need uh, 30 furnaces, uh, around 50 um, assembly machines don't have enough of those. But as we uh, put up a logistic center that produces all these things, we just have to grab into uh, this chest here um, and we are good to go so I am thinking with the red signs uh, we start down here 
and we can copy this setup here. Uh, that's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve furnaces. So basically, if we have ten furnaces on this side, then ten more on the other side uh, that should give us um, a bit of a compacter space for uh, the iron smelting than have or we could probably have 20 furnaces going down here now let me uh, put up the uh, the stations first and then we will see about the layout of the rest next a slight miscounting later and we are here because of course if we have 10 furnaces on one side that means uh, uh, if we double up like in this scenario we only need 10 furnaces on one side to get our 20 furnaces and if we look at the uh, recipe we need the iron for iron gears and then the, the copper goes in um, as such and let's have just a quick look um, that means we have six uh, copper per second and what we will do is have a set up like this and that will build us the gears if we supply the power to it and then from here we will have the gears or the, the cup and looking at this we have six and six if we put this on one side of uh, of a yellow belt that means we could put 7.5 items on a yellow belt and it would be uh, fully saturated so we are good here but what we will do is we will split this in two because uh, looking at this we then need 40 assembly machines um, uh, for for the red science and we will do this like so once again one two three four five two three that's 10. One, two, three, four, five. That's 20. And then I can have the recipes put in. Inserters there and on the opposite side. We don't need that one. And then here on the outside, we can have the output. Of course, all the way up to here. Uh, 
combine this like so. If we add power like so, that should be okay. At least once we connect everything up. Yes, no more blinking. And this will output six. Oh, uh, if we then have this set up also here on this side, this will produce six uh, red signs per seconds and we can have a loading station up here but apparently i don't have enough belts to to finish this and probably also not enough inserters so let me grab that and then we can see how to complete this build and hopefully add some material going there. We are slightly misaligned here, but I think I will fix that once I got robots, then it's, it's way easier. Then we can also move the two sides closer together. For the unloading station, I have uh, added some stack inserters for the unloading because we want to empty the train as fast as possible. Uh, so uh, the, the train does not sit in the unloading station until it has to, meaning uh, the unloading station is, is full. And here, this will be our loading station and this is intentionally a bit longer um, because here in the front we will have the, the, the station itself uh, and this of course will be um, red science loading I can even add a nice icon. And then we want to have a limit of two because we can stack one additional train here in the back uh, without any problem. Um, yeah, that should do. Of course, uh, we then probably also should add such a train. Um, not enough coal. And here for the loading, we want that to load as fast as possible. We have some buffer chests and the buffer chests, they can be filled with normal loaders because this factory produces six signs per second. So the, the inserters here on this side, they will not be overwhelmed with too many items. So let's connect that and then Okay, let's at least do this properly, hook this up like so. And of course we need to set this train up to go somewhere, but for that we would need to have a science facility first. But now let's have a look at our trains. Um, we have one there sitting at the iron field and we have uh, 
two on the delivery stations and we have four iron ore delivery and probably we should have as many trains delivering iron ore as we have delivery stations now let's see what's up with that one that one is filling up yeah so maybe there we can see that one would also benefit from some stack inserters and probably an additional train because we do have two loading stations for the iron ore so if we have two trains waiting here for the for the loading I'll just have one more um, there um, let's copy this it's even the right color but I need to grab some more coal and then probably we have similar situation for copper yeah we have two trains sitting at the delivery station but we actually have uh, three delivery station in total so we are missing one train there and for that one i also need to build a locomotive first i did add an additional train for the uh, copper uh, but apparently we have um, done a bit of a boo-boo here by hooking up the wrong um, the wrong belt so let's just do this and that gives us the gears and that should give us all the gears that we need and once we get some copper coming in from this side we should also see the red science production kicking in once more and here comes the copper so uh fingers crossed that should all work out for the best and yeah we have our first bottles of red science and while this is not an extra long episode it's uh still long enough to not squeeze in the uh, green science uh, so we will hold that off for the next episode where we will tackle said green science in a similar fashion just in another square and of course green science is a bit more uh, complicated than, than the red one so will be a bit more uh, integrated and uh, even more convoluted than just misaligned belts. Hope you enjoyed it nevertheless and I will see you soon with green science. Until then, goodbye!